Hi, in this video we will demonstrate how to delete an invalid domain user account from NetApp Storage Systems local group using the command line. This video is based on KB article 2015313. When attempting to remove an unrecognized user object from the user admin command, an error message such as user does not exist is reported. To see the list of user accounts in a local group on the storage controller, access the data on tab CLI and enter the command user admin domain user list hyphen G group name. The example in this video uses the group name sales underscore department which will list all the users present in that group. To translate this SID into a human readable username, type the command CIFS lookup followed by the SID and press the enter key. The output will display a message status underscore none underscore mapped. This is because this user SID is not present in the active directory. Attempting to remove this SID using the command user admin domain user delete followed by the SID and the group name. will result in the error user does not exist. This issue occurs when the active directory user object is removed from the domain before it is removed from the storage systems local group. We will now see how to delete this invalid user. Log in to a Windows host and map the storage systems root volume as a network drive. Go to the etc directory inside this drive and copy the lclgroups.cfg file to a convenient location. Open the file using a text editor like notepad or wordpad. Locate the invalid SID and delete it. Then save the file. Rename the file as lclgroups.cfg.new or any other name of your choice. After that, copy the file back to its original location. Now let's go back to the storage controllers console and load the new config file. In the data on tab CLI, type the command user admin domain user load followed by the file name that you created previously. Now check whether the user account is deleted by running command user admin domain user list hyphen g and the group name such as sales underscore department you will now see that the SID of the user is removed hope this video was helpful thank you for watching NetApp KBTV